Good morning. It is 7.30 a.m. And it is October 5th. Wow. October already. I feel like September was just here. But it's October already. And I have exciting news. Right now, I am driving to clinicals. Sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. And I thank God for this day. And I hope you're doing the same. So I'm driving, but I'm being careful. <laughs> I'm being careful. I'm driving to a place called Rhinebeck because I have clinicals there for a month because I'm in nursing school. But that's going to be another video talking about my nursing school days. But today's video is to give you an update on my house journey. As we're speaking, I am a house owner. I'm a home owner. Yes, I did it. I finally did it. We went to our closing. Actually, the closing got moved like mad times. Like, I was like, is this going to happen or not? You know, I was really wondering what was going on because <laughs> it took a while. The closing had had to be moved because of one outstanding document so they had moved it a whole week back they moved it a whole week back um i mean forward sorry i don't know what i'm talking about anyways um so the closing was on the 28th of september so you know on closing day we did a walkthrough in that morning sorry to not be looking in the camera but I'm driving just wanted to make this quick video so we had to do the closing we had to do a walkthrough on the closing day which was the 28th did a walkthrough with the seller um, I bought the freezer that I mentioned in my previous video you can go check that out I bought the freezer and two AC units and um, went, went, got our keys, and um, it's so sweet, uh, my, my loans officer brought me, brought us a gift, we got a, you know, a little tool set, which came in very handy, when we, because, we, you know, the very next day, that, that was the Friday, and the Saturday, we had to hit the ground running, you know, we hit the ground running, we got stuff, you know, after we checked, we realized that we had a lot of cracks in the walls. Um, we had to redo the floor. So, you know, we, I just went up to Home Depot and got all those material. I got, like, all the tools, all the stuff that we needed. We just got it, got them that day. Here, to let you know what color I chose in. Honestly, just to save time because we have to be out of the apartment by the 31st of October, just to save time, we are just going to put the moldings back in white. It's in white. That's, you know, all the windows and the little moldings on the walls. We're just going to put it back in white because... I don't want to go too bold with colors and then, um, you know, it's too bright or whatnot. I like, I like to be in a calm environment, you know. Yeah, white may be too, like, uh, apartment-y or whatever. That's, that's what my friend said. She was like, oh, that look like you're renting an apartment. Well, guess what? <laughs> I am a plain Jane. So, I'm definitely going to go with this gray. I have not tested it on the walls yet. I'm gonna have to show you guys how many testers I bought. I bought so many samples from Home Depot just to test and each one of those cost $3.50. So I was like, no, I just have to come up with a color whether I like it or not and get it on those walls and go live in that damn house. So. I'm not letting a pink color get to my brain right now. So I am 
go we're actually gonna start painting as soon as we put a second coat of um, that stuff that oil base finish on the floors as soon as we um, as soon as we get the second one on and it's dry I guess it takes like two days to dry so two days for the first coat and um, another two days for it to dry perfectly then we're going to then we're going to um, paint the walls and I'm definitely like the outside has this green paint that I'm definitely going to change that. I don't know what color I'm going to put outside yet but that one has got to go. I do not like green. That green. So um, yeah that's got to go. So this is one thing that I learned. And I did learn it in the Dreamcatchers Budget Nista group. But for some reason, I don't know why I forgot it. So if you rent an apartment, this is my tip for today. If you rented an apartment or and you signed a lease for a whole year, this is what my apartment complex told me that I wasn't even aware of. When I gave them my notice, my 30-day notice, they said to me, you're going to have to pay this month's rent, you're going to lose your deposit, and you're going to have to pay $250 per month until the apartment is rented. Let me repeat that. I'm going to have to pay this month's rent. I'm going to have to pay... I, I forgot. <laughs> it's so much. I'm going to have to pay this month's rent. I'm going to lose my deposit, which is the equivalent of the rent. And I'm going to have to pay... $250 per month until the apartment is rented. When we asked why was that so, they said it's in their policy. Did not know about that. So when you're breaking a lease, because my lease expires on January. They, they said it expires January 31st. I don't know how because I moved into that apartment December 31st, 2015. So I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why um, my lease ends in January, but whatever. So, you know, they asked why were we moving? We told them that we have bought a house and she said okay we're gonna send you a letter we're gonna try to help you so we're gonna send you a letter <laughs> so the letter came yesterday the letter said that um, we're gonna clean the apartment before we leave you know we're gonna make sure everything is good except for the things that you know wear and tear except for those the apartment's got to be clean we have we will not um we will not basically not ask them for any any um of our deposit nor the interest that it, it has accrued no no interest no security deposit we, we can't sue them nor nothing they they're in control of that um, we have to move out on or before the 31st. We have to bring the all keys back to the office. And there was something else. I don't remember what else. And we had to sign it and send it back to them immediately. So, but then we would be, they, they would waive the $250 that we would have to pay per month. So... It is what it is. I just signed it. Um, so we're going to drop it off today. I'm just going to call it a day. 
you know, it's 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 crazy after um you know, you waiting for what I think what I should have done and if if anybody out there know poli like house policies could correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe if I had gone month to month do a month to month um lease then then maybe I would have gotten it back. I don't know, but you know, listen, they have something to counteract everything that you do. So, whatever I did, I was going to get the shitty end of the stick. So, it really doesn't even matter. I'm just happy that we don't have to pay the $250. It is what it is. I'm going to clean the apartment. I mean, I was going to clean it regardless. Whether or not I was going to, you know have to pay or not I was gonna clean the apartment because I always never I'm leaving any apartment I always make sure that well maybe just maybe one and I, I actually did not move out of the that apartment I asked somebody to move my stuff so you know I don't know what condition it was left in but it is what it is um yeah so I I'm, I make sure I clean I clean that one you know vacuum the floors and do what I gotta do to make sure it's left it's left clean you know because if, if it was my apartment being rented like if, if I was a renter I'd want somebody to leave my house clean when they're leaving too so I'm gonna do that um, but yeah so currently we are doing the floors still doing the floors about to do the stairs today I was gonna paint the stairs white but I might as well just stain it today because we're we have enough and yo those stain those floor finish cost like $91 in Home Depot. I had to use two cans. Um yeah, we use two cans. We bought mad stuff. Mad stuff, but like I said, it's the journey. I'll show you some clips of um you know, work in progress. I'll show you a, a little bit of that and then right to the finish. But thank you for watching my channel. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and continue to be the person you are. And I wish for you great success in 2018. 2018 is not done it is not done we have a lot more to do in 2018 we have a lot more to accomplish do not give up on 2018 do not put off nothing for 2019 you don't know what the future holds you don't know you just don't know so whatever you can do right now I'm going to tell you to get up and do it because the moment when you push for something that you need, the moment you stop pushing is the moment that things are going to look up for you. Do not stop. Don't stop. Don't put things off to tomorrow. If you could do it now, do it now. Don't put nothing off. Just keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. And if, you're, if you are in the United States, you're struggling everybody struggles especially when you first arrive you struggle and you struggle more if you don't have the right people telling you the right things when you get here the internet the world wide web is a college go to the source for your information People will tell you a lot of things when you first arrive in this country. People will tell you a lot of things. Oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. Listen. Go to the source. Research whatever you want. Do not take information from village lawyers. Yeah, you listen to them. You hear them out. But at the end of the day, some people are village lawyers and some people don't want you to be better than that. So... My advice to people who are first entering this country, do your research. Do your research. You 
better off you're better off getting your information from the source all right and I know <laughs> I know so that's what I'm telling you get your information whatever information you need get it from the source and you should be good thank you for watching my channel I'll show you some clips of my work being done like my video subscribe to my channel and I'll see y'all next time love you guys thank you for watching